Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy, Sarge Lord. Welcome to today's video. Y'all already know what time it is, man. I got the mic in my hand. It's time for Lord Talk. Now, this isn't your usual Lord talk, man. I need to talk about a certain situation that's trending. And I didn't want to speak on this because I didn't think it really mattered that much. But it's starting to blow up. So I want to put my thoughts on it. You know what I'm saying? So today we're going to be talking about the John Morant situation. If you don't know what happened, here's a video clip. So as y'all can see, this man John Morant, a NBA superstar. Okay, John Morant is an NBA superstar with a $200 million contract to the Memphis Grizzlies. Why the, f why the hell is John Morant acting hood? Shannon Sharp said it best. Let me play that uh, interview clip for you. You pretend like you hard, but you're not, Ja. You got a $200 million contract and you want people in the NBA to think you hood. To think you gangster because you roll with these type of people, bro. You putting yourself in harm's way when you don't have to. Nobody looks at you, John. Think, man, that's a thug. He hood. <laughs> he down. He bought that. You not. Stop pretending. You're not gonna do nothing. What you're gonna do is get yourself in trouble, put yourself and your family in harm's way for street cred. Why is John Moran acting hood? You are a NBA superstar. You have no reason to be doing any of this. I don't understand. Look, I like John Moran. That man's dunks be crazy. He be going crazy on the court. Why? You gotta be with me. You gotta be like, you can't understand why he's doing things like this. Hold on, I look a little too red. What validation does he is he trying to get? What street cred do you possibly need, Ja? You, like literally, you are an NBA superstar trying to make it out the NBA back into the hood. What, like what type of stuff is this, bro? All you have to do is show up to a court, go crazy on the court, shoot hoops, dunk like crazy, posterize a nigga. Y you want to be a threat? Like this man is trying to be a street and offensive threat. I don't understand. All you need to do is posterize a nigga and you got all the validation you need. You can gritty on him after. You can do whatever. But what you don't need to be doing is waving guns around on Instagram live while in a strip club and shit. And now, okay. So here's here's some arguments I've been seeing. John Morant is a grown ass man with a firearm. So what? I don't think you understand. John Morant is a public figure. He's not just some random ass NBA nigga, man. He, not even just some random ass nigga. Throw the NBA out. If you're in the NBA, do you think that you should be going on Instagram live, waving guns, throwing up gang signs, acting like a gangster, showing off strip club shit? Do you honestly think that you should be doing that as an NBA superstar who makes, who has multi-million dollar contracts? What are you doing? Put in your family at risk for what some social media validation some street validation okay now you got street nigga validation what what is that possibly going to do for you what if the nba don't work out you could just go back to the streets or some shit like what is going on like the man is literally throwing up gang signs listening blasting young boy reciting the lyrics like literally in the clip when young boy said i'm a gangster the nigga waved the gun on the camera. So like I was saying, John Morant has sponsorships, shoe deals, 
Nigga, he's literally an NBA player. So he he's representing Nike, the NBA. He's representing all of these big brand companies on whatever he does off the court. So obviously there's going to be a huge problem when your big superstar on your deal, on your company's deal, is making a Tom fool of himself off the court. Or he's just acting outrageous. Look at what happened to Kanye. All right, I hate to have to use him as an example, but look at what happened to Ye. That man just did outrageous thing after outrageous thing after outrageous thing. He lost all his deals. Adidas cut him. Everybody cut him. Gap cut him. Like, literally, he was off the grid for a while because he literally lost all of the deals that he had because of how he was acting in the public. He ruined his public image and had to lose all those deals because of it. And now Adidas is picking him back up to finish off the Yeezys because they realize without Ye, they can't make no money. So when you got John Morant, one of your biggest NBA stars, going on Instagram, waving guns around, acting like a gangster, throwing up gang signs, you got to take action. Okay, that's why he got suspended for two games. You know? Like, y'all are acting like John Morant is just some civilian. No, bro, is a superstar. And he needs to protect his public image so that he can get bigger and better deals. What he's doing now is hurting his reputation, hurting his career. For what? Like I said, the street cred is not going to do anything for you. You have a two hundred million dollar nba contract okay what, what more do you need hanging around all these gang members and shit bro i don't understand once you make it out don't you want to stay out wasn't that the whole point you know it was crazier there's people doing this eight mile trend with john Morant. every time that he does something crazy they always pull up this same video And it's crazy. Like he was he's really a suburb a suburb kid acting hood, acting gangster. It's crazy how you can get all of this success, all of this shit, and you can still act like somebody you're not for validation of people online or people who you shouldn't even be associating yourself with. Keep it a buck. Do you think an NBA superstar should be hanging out with gang members, having guns and all this shit? All that you're paid to do is hoop and go do some like public events to help boost brands and shit, man. You know, and an another thing besides the fact that he did that on IG Live, it's literally been going around. John Morant beat up a 17 year old. I just read it. I'm going to put the tweet up on your screen right now. Bleacher Report tweeted, John Morant was accused of punching a 17-year-old boy 12 to 13 times and flashing a gun at him during a pickup game last summer. And it was taken from a whole police report. Um, they declined to press charges against Ja because there wasn't enough evidence. Okay, and the 17-year-old said he accidentally hit Morant in the face with a ball, leading to Morant asking a bystander, should I do it to him? I, okay, let's be real. Let's say the guy actually, actually did throw a basketball at John Morant's head. Accident or not. Why is John Morant's response to knock the kid out? Think about it. You're an, like, you're an NBA superstar, right? And somebody tries to start a fight with you out in public. Now, remember, you're an NBA superstar. You have brand deals, shoe deals, and you're representing the NBA. So in that situation, are you going to actually start the fight with somebody? Or are you just going to be the bigger man? Okay, because at the end of the day, you're an NBA superstar. You're the one who's going to leave that pickup game and go into an actual NBA court and go up against actual NBA players. 
and play real freaking basketball. You're going to let a 17 year old kid agonize you this much? As hood as you want to act, as gangster as you want to be, you are an NBA superstar. Just play the game of basketball, okay? And if you want to go live that hood life, you can leave the league and let real men play basketball instead of putting on this act. Like what, you want NBA players to be scared and threatened of you? Like what is what is his end goal? What is your objective? Just play, you're literally paid 200 mil to play basketball. Just play basketball, bro. You don't have to do none of this shit. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace. Thank you. Uh, thank you. The shit I'll do for you, only time will tell. If shit ever hit the fan, bro, they'll pay your bail. Don't worry about the breath, it will never go stale. They biting on a swagger, wants to go on sale. If I eat, you eat. And if you talk, cop, gonna be your feet.